Because I attend Nigeria every day. I read every day. This is my ninth year of living separation. Pledge of education. Like I was even hungry at my parents. They were like, this is for your own good. I made a lot of sacrifices. Coming from a very, let me say serious, I only want to use the word poor. I made a lot of sacrifices. It feels fulfilling like restoration. The kind of person that when I have the plan of doing something, I will do it. It feels fulfilling. It feels um, like restoration because um, a lot of time has been put into my education far from my secondary school down now. So coming out as a second overall best student of the University of Illinois, I'm the best student from my faculty and my department makes it just fulfilling. So it makes it look as if um, the lost time has been restored. So So starting from the beginning, um, I started school very early, right from my eighth month. I started working, so my parents just enrolled me in school. So I finished my secondary school in um, 2016. When I finished, actually in secondary school, one of the um, subjects I found interesting was mathematics. I found it so much interesting that in my school, I was the only candidate that registered for further maths during uh, SSC. So, uh, you know, the school was afraid that why will you only register for the course? But I was like, I can do it. And I did it actually then. And even surprisingly then, from all the students my school registered for SSC, I was the only student that passed mathematics. And they have the reason to come back the next year and do the exam again. Okay, so um, from that time, I knew, okay, mathematics is not just a thing anymore. It's something I found interesting, easy to do. And you know, when anything is easy for you, you can just make it your passion since it is not taking sweat and blood like other things will do. Okay, so when um, my, my, my future ambition right from secondary school was to be a doctor of the eyes because in my family, I have people struggling with eyes issues. So I just feel like, okay, why can't I be an oculist and help these people out? So my first jam in 2016, I um, filled the University of Illinois Optometry. I got admission, but I was transferred to Faculty of Agric, Agricultural Science. Actually, my parents were skeptical about it. That okay, you are too young to study Agric. Why will you just go there and waste five years as young as you are? And it's not even your passion. Okay, but um, at the time they were like, okay, if you go for this course at this age, you'll be graduating even before your twentieth um, birthday. So that would be a plus for you to even go into other things you want. But when they had that thought, there was financial constraint. They were not able to pay the acceptance fee, do this, do that. So I just had to forfeit the admission. I even resumed in learning then. So I knew my way around. I started going to the library, read this, that, but I just had to let the admission go when there was no financial strength. So um, I stayed at home, went for teaching jobs, this, that. Then one day I was just sleeping in, the, in my room. And my mom just came, dressed up. Let's go somewhere. I was like, go away. She was like, I'm, we are enrolling you at College of Education today. I said, what's college? The secondary school I attended is Hope of Glory College. Are you taking me back to secondary school? They said, when you get there, you will know where we are taking you to, okay? So I dressed up, I followed her, just for us to land at an environment. I was seeing old people, I was like, what are you doing here? Do I want to get a job or what? She was like, it's a school. So I saw the name, I was like, ah, this one is a school. Why is everybody looking old and the rest? This one does not look like you, So I was like, this is College of Education that they want to enroll me, at least not to waste time at home anymore. Because I wrote jam in 2017 also. For juggling job, I was doing teaching job and preparing for post TTM. So I was not able to make it. I had 42% then. So I couldn't get admission to the University of Rome. So when I got to the registration stand at the Christ College of Education, I was asked, to pick two subjects I like best in secondary school, I was like mathematics and biology. They were like, ah, there's no course like math biology. That I had to pair maybe computer with math, physics, or the like. So one of my dad's friend as a lecturer told them to pair physics. That since I love math, then definitely I will do well in physics. So that was why I got enrolled in Christ the College of Education, January 17, 2018. Right from my young age, I've been a very sharp girl. I've been very sharp. So, but I don't think, um, I, I cannot really remember my second, uh, my primary school performances, maybe my parents will do that, but 
right from my secondary school i've always been among the top five so it was in my ss2 i took up the courage that okay a lady has always been the best right from my jss1 up to ss2 so i so i took up the courage that time that i'm going to take this thing from this girl and i did my best did everything possible and as god we have it since then i started talking the class right from my ss2 taught them taught them i was almost leaving secondary school so i could say the excellent um drive starting from my ss2 class that was when i got the drive to always talk everywhere i could Oh, so many moments here. Yeah. When I um, entered into Kwara State College of Education, I was so bitter. You know, when you leave secondary school, at those first, second, third year, you see your mates matriculated into this university, that university, me at the College of Education. Like, I was even angry at my parents. They were like, this is for your own good. Since we can't afford uni learning for now, why can't you start from me? And you, do, you couldn't even get admission again. So instead of wasting your time at home, so I was bitter. My first semester at Christ College of Education, I don't attend classes. I'll just sleep in the hostel. That my mates are in the university. They brought me here to waste a week. That means I will not go anywhere. So even not attending classes, my results still came out with B's, B's, B's. So I just took up the courage. Then the fellowship I attended encouragement that okay, if you are not attending class and you have it, okay, what if you not attend those classes? What would have happened? So that was I just took up the courage and okay. continued the journey. Wow, I made a lot of sacrifices. Coming from a very, let me say serious, I wouldn't want to use the word poor. Let me say serious background, I made a lot of sacrifices. A lot, a lot, a lot I can't tell of. Yeah, because, you know, when I was in Christ State College of Education, when my parents give me little, due to the economy, then it will always suffice, you know, I'll manage myself and rest. But getting to the University of Learning, the narrative changed saw people doing things i was like wow is this how these things will continue but i just had it for, this is uh, this has always been my drive that things will get better that was uh, that has always been my own focus because sometimes you have to read your empty stomach you have to you know i'll go weeks without having even a dime with me but i've always kept myself that okay let me just hold through i know that at the end of things it will always get better okay, awesome. Yeah, I've been surrounded with so much encouragers. I've been surrounded with so much people that believed in me. So my parents have always believed in me. And as the first child of the family, they've always encouraged me that no matter what, even if it seems dark now, I should keep pushing. So it has been a whole lot of encouragement. You know, even at my 300 level in school, when my lecturers get to start knowing me for my grades and the like, that has been a good one on their side too. So... At that point, I've gotten so much encouragement and support. The kind of person that when I have the plan of doing something, I'll do it. You know, the first time in 200 level, I went to some, you know, University of Illinois, we have some Wi-Fi spot and the rest. I went there, then I opened, I have an Instagram page, maybe secondary school, but I just opened a new one. And I noticed that I spent almost three hours on it. Since that day in 200 level, I told myself Instagram is until you graduate. You can't use this app in this school. So since then, that was why it looks as if I have a very low turnout on social media. Nobody seen that's because I don't use it. The only social media I can't use see me on is WhatsApp to get class updates, to chat with friends and just that. So you not see me on Instagram too. I told myself right from time because I noticed when I log in, I use three hours. Ha. The time I'm supposed to be resting so as to prepare for class because I attend night class every day. I read every day. I bind myself with this law in school that at least before I sleep every day, I must learn something new. I must learn something new. Even when I'm sick in school, you see me in the book. I just want to learn something, at least one thing before that day ends. I must learn something adding to knowledge. So it has not been easy avoiding distraction, but I already bound myself with so much love. It got to a point I, I put my phone on digital well-being. That when I use WhatsApp for two hours a day, to automatically block it off until the next day. And I already bound myself that I won't open it. You know, I set it so I can definitely go back to open it. But I already restricted myself that immediately this thing is blocking, I won't open it. 
and I didn't involve myself in any social activity in school, so that made it easier for me. So if I'm not in class, if I'm not in church, then I'm sleeping. Yes, I was not involved in my 100 and penultimate year. But when I got to the final year, um, the, the pressure was so much on me that you have to just graduate without doing anything. So in my final year, I was the academic um, secretary for my fellowship. I was the under level pastor. In the church I attended, I was the treasurer. Then I'm in the research team in the department. I was the team lead. And I told me to have some responsibilities for my church, my headquarter church, and the likes like that. It means fulfillment. What could I have asked for? What more? It means fulfillment because sometimes when I just sit to look back, I feel time has been wasted. I feel okay, was was to what end? I would have just maybe gone to okay polytechnic that time. I would have just maybe do this, do that, and just forget about this thing and move on. But when I got this recognition, it made me feel fulfilled, you know. My secondary school classmates that feels they were ahead of me would come down to my level, call me, congratulate me. It means so much to me because sometimes I could not even open my mouth to talk to these people because I'd be like somebody that has sat since 2020. We are no longer in the same level. I don't have the mouth to start talking to this person. Me that I'm still an undergraduate as of 2022. So, but this recognition brought me so much honor. It brought me so much honor. Like, I could actually feel among my mates again. Yes. If you spent trying to get this degree. There are nine years. Nine. Yes, I wrote four jams. I did four jam nine years. This is my ninth year of living secondary school. I definitely postgraduate studies because I'm a kind of person that I don't know. I can't say I like book. I don't like book, but I just like to gain knowledge. That's all. so. And I know stopping here will just mean like maybe a waste because so much, so many people have been reaching out to me. What are you doing after this? What are you doing after that? I just told everyone, NYC, please let me rest NYC for now. But definitely in my mind, I know I'm definitely going for postgraduate studies. Oh, changes. Ah, I think um, Nigeria's um, education system should encourage bright students. Should encourage bright students. Sometimes in school, I get to think about it that if I could get more support, maybe I would have done better. When I was resuming University of Illinois, I had the mind of graduating 5.0. That was my that was my plan. But when I entered into the system and I see the way things are being run, I was like, ah, these people will kill somebody. I don't think this is possible. Let me just do my best and go away. So maybe in Nigerian, um, the education system should really step up. This, the, everyone knows what is right. It's just that we don't do it. The government knows what to do to make these things better. It's just that it is not being done. So maybe when there are better infrastructure, you know now, University of Illinois students, you know, when they are better infrastructure, sometimes you go to class, you have so many people and they are tired, you're like, how do I sit? You'll be standing up for one hour, like just this, that. So when there are better infrastructure that we encourage you, encouragement for excellent students. University of Illinois is actually trying because um, my 300 level, I was the scholar of my class, so I got a stipend from the school that helped me at least a, a bit. Also in 300 level, I got a scholarship from MTN that helped me pay my tuition in 400 level till I graduated and my hostel for Android. But if more of this could come, you know, sometimes this, this privileges target only the head, just one person in the class. I was talking to one of my friends that, okay, what will happen if the university can fund for every first class student in class? Do you know most students who want to be in first class because they know that naturally you get a stipend for being in first class? But sometimes it's only just it's just the scholar of the class everybody is targeting. So some people just feel like since I'm not the scholar of the class, why do I kill myself over what will not earn me anything? Let me just go out there and get something for myself and you know do well outside academics and and I always tell people whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. Now that we are in school, let's just put everything into it to come out well. At least now we are free. 
so to say so now that we are free you can actually do those things you feel you wanted to do then to at least get better so it's just that government should just put more effort into educational system because this thing is really going down and you know yourself as a person you know what you can do sometimes when people call me scholar scholar i just look at them that there's nothing special i'm no i'm no way special than you are it's just a matter of effort some people look at me that like, oh, you got this thing so easily i'd be like the way you were confused in class i was even as much as confused as you are but what stood out for me is that immediately leaving the class i will pick up that thing and tackle it okay why will i be confused the lecturer that brought this thing to class to teach us know it meaning a human being can grasp it then definitely i could grasp it i could remember one day in 211 first semester when i just resumed you know because i resumed with that attention our lecturer gave us a test like pass transform i could never forget so during the um, election break i already learned the topic from home she already know almost everything about the topic so getting to class and having you know this russian test now tell you if i do this there and everybody in the class could not know the final answer to the question like everybody a, a very large class it's not about a mathematics student alone we have chemistry we have physics we have statistics like putting a whole lot of students together and nobody could actually say this is the final answer i was so challenged that day i was like wow why was one person know something and everyone of like all of us we were this like dumb for them i i got to the hostel i could not eat i was like i'll go and read this thing today i must know this thing I was trying to go to class that day. I fell into the gutter, reading on the road like I was literally reading that thing on my phone. I wanted to see what is in that thing that would make the whole class not know. And I fell into the gutter and uh, wounded myself. I called my mom crying. She was like, "Kilo de to the day class before you do this thing. Like, why are you so curious about this?" I said, "The whole class could not get to that. What, what is there?" So me knowing myself that okay, I'm this kind of person that I know I'm not the best of all, but being curious to know more has made me stood out i'm always curious to know more. you know like i said the other time i will not sleep a day in school without gaining something i would like i bound myself with that love. just one thing must sink into my brain as something that i had to knowledge today so as a student if you know you want to stand out in excellence always aspire to know more don't, don't always settle for less that they taught us in class. I don't understand. That means anybody cannot understand. No, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes you write exams and you write it so well that even your lecturers are surprised that uh, how do you like break this thing down? I take my um, classmates, my peers, even people at the junior level tutorials. Sometimes they baffle at me that why do you like how do you break this thing so down like so well? I told them it's just a matter of sitting with it and trying to get the concepts behind it. When you sit down with something and like, you are so curious to the extent that you want to know what is happening, it definitely excellent to come out of it. So when I kept pressing, like being curious, always wanting to know more, always wanting to know more, if I knew it, excellent. Keep Okay, so my message is just stay focused. There's nothing you cannot do if you have it in mind to do. You know, the Bible even says that when you have something in mind to do, it cannot be withheld from you. If you are focused, if you if you do not allow distraction in anything you are doing, and you hold up that no matter the challenge, I'm doing this, because it will get to a point you just feel that, does it worth it? Like, do I need to kill myself over... You know, education is a scam and 4.9 does not do anything. First class does not guarantee success. You know, people say those things. They even say it to your face and you are kind of surprised. That, okay, why are you saying this thing? Are you trying to encourage me or discourage me? But just be focused. Have a lay down, um, um, what's it called now, rules for your own life. So no matter what anybody is saying, you are not moved. You know, this is the way I want to live my own life. I'm not taking it um, from you. You will not be the one to dictate the way to live my own life for me or the likes. So just be focused. Have your own terms. That this is the way I want to do my own. It is my life. I have the way to live it. Just make sure the terms and the um, conditions you have for yourself are the correct one. If you have the correct one, definitely you come up with the best outcome. Hello everyone, my name is Blessing Olajitu. 
Keep watching Niger News for news updates. Thank you.